Hello and welcome back to the channel. Uh, this week I'm, I've been looking at uh, China's recent completion of their space station. On October 31st, China launched the final piece of their space station and has completed it in orbit. Um, first off, I think a uh, big congratulations on uh, China's major milestone of completing their space station is in order. Um, this is a, a big milestone for China and for the world. Uh, this is the first <clears throat> long-term orbital station uh, alongside the International Space Station since uh, Russia deorbited Mir in 2001. So it's been 21 years since there's uh, been another long-term uh, station in space. There's a lot of uh, research and discussions going on in terms of the implications of <clears throat> having another station. And I have some additional details uh, in the description along with my analysis and summary and some articles about it. Uh, so please go ahead and read those as well. Uh, there's a lot of dates flying around about the age and lifetime of the ISS. Right now, I think the most current date is about 2030 uh, that the U.S. expects the ISS to um, end of life, end of service. Um, and so that's coming up fairly quickly without a replacement. And we very much could end up in the position that there is only one orbiting space station in the future, uh, which is the Chinese space station. The current projected lifespan of that station is 10 to 15 years with the option to extend uh, the lifetime afterwards. I think this is kind of uh, an interesting position if no other stations are launched. Um, this definitely shows that the U.S. is no longer a no longer leads in space and is losing some of its dominance compared to other countries. Um, and there's also a lot of significant research implications, uh, both for terrestrial research as well as the ability to conduct things like spacewalks and test out new equipment that we may need for future missions to, say, the Moon or to Mars. Again, uh, I've got some links in the description uh, for some more reading around this, and I will see you next week.